Welcome back, here's another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, this one we're just talking about how do you use transparency in uh, mo mostly just fading in and out opacity on objects. Um, it's very straightforward in Adobe Premiere and After Effects, but when you're in Cinema 4D it's slightly different. So here's what we'll do, we'll just create a sphere. And as you play through, obviously nothing is happening. But what we need to do is add a tag to it called the display tag. And what you're gonna notice in here is we have visibility. And that's the same thing as opacity. So what we have to do is keyframe it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to zero. We're gonna to have to first key use, because we wanna use it. But then we also have to key the little button next to visibility. That sets the frame. Now let's go to frame 50. Let's drag it up. Let's do the same thing. Key both of them. And you're not going to notice anything in Cinema 4D. What you're going to notice is it's nothing. And then as soon as there's a little bit of visibility percentile, 0.1%, the whole object shows up in the render field. So the only way to really see that is to render it out. And so if we do a quick render of all frames, you'll see this come to life in front of you very quickly. And you can already see, it's obviously not a very dynamic object, but we've already accomplished the fade in effect right there, okay? So what you're actually seeing is the back wall through the front wall, and it's all coming together, and eventually you have a full 100% opaque object. So that's how you do it. Um, definitely use that from time to time and would recommend using the display tag for that. So thanks for the quick tutorial, uh, for viewing my quick tutorial, and check us out again next time.